Hello friends. So this is the rat trap. So we begin. We are following a method. I told you, communicative method of speaking, uh, teaching, and therefore today we'll our first focus is on phrases and words, and with this we will make sentences to illustrate the meaning so that. Each one of us, myself and yourself, can use this in our day-to-day -day conversation or when you are writing, that is in our day-to-day -day language, use of language. So here begins, at odd moments means free time. When you get leisure now, I, at odd moments, many students go to the library. Say at odd means when they are free. Resort to, resort to means tend to. I think I have never resorted to beating students for mischief. Never. I will never do it. I love students. And the third is hunger gleamed in his face. Gleam is shine. So hunger gleamed means hunger could be hunger could be seen in his eyes. Very often we can see hunger gleaming into the eyes of poor beggars. Poor beggars. So a charitable organization, they give them free food and free clothing. Fourth one, monotonous. Monotone, that means same, same tone, boring. This monotonous means monotonous. Dishwashing is a monotonous job. <laughs> How many times a day you have to do it? Four times, see? Minimum. Prods along the road. Prod means walk wearily, means tired, and tired. Poor baggage. They plod along the road for begging. They don't walk much, but they plod along the way. And left to his own meditations means uh, meditation means deeply thinking about something. But here, left to his own meditation means that is a, his own uh, time for thinking. When he gets time for thinking, he will think about something. Left to my own meditations, I always think of God and the blessings that He showered on me. It's a fact. Left to my own meditation. It closed in on Him, means it gripped Him. If you fall a prey to substance use, a drugs, you know, it will close in on Him, means you will become a victim of that substance. Same with the alcohol, smoking, also. Unwanted joy, unwanted is old, uh, archaic or the old form of saying, say, unwanted joy, unwanted joy. You can say that uh, uh, thinking about the misery of other people uh, for enjoyment, for pleasure, is an unwanted joy. <laughs> you get pleasure out of thinking of the misery of other people. That is unwanted joy. A cherished pastime. A cherished pastime is something that you like most. Pastime hobby, the most. Uh, gardening is a cherished pastime for me. Gardening is my cherished pa pastime. That is how I spend my leisure. And uh, dreary plodings means dreary means sad, uh, gloomy. Uh, dreary evening means gloomy evening. So dreary plodding means gloomy, uh, gloomy and uh, walking in a very tired way. So beggars, you can understand the beggars, poor people, old people, old and old destitutes. They go around, when you see them, you can see that they are plodding, they are dreary plodding. Or there, the old destitute people's dreary plodings will should attract a person who is interested in doing charity. Dreary plodding. Very often you find old destitutes uh, going around and their way of talk, uh, walking is dreary plodding. And then you have got the dangerous snare. Snare means a trap again, dangerous. Falling a victim. Start using substance is a dangerous snare. If you start using substance, substance means drugs. So dangerous snare, it will grip you. Yes. Then trudging along the road. Trudging means walking with the heavy steps. The army 
was the army was trudging along the marshy lands. Marshy land, you know, on Bali Avenue, your first step, you will carry some mud along with you, know, isn't it? Or mud or clay or something like that. So then, the next, the next step will be uh, very heavy, drudging along, yes. And the sour faces, sour face to show dislike. See? When I, when people see their enemies, they show their sour faces, means they don't like them, they dislike. So this, in good old times, mother, mother's in-law used to show sour faces to see, uh, my daughters in -law. <laughs> Not now. Now it is the other way around. Okay. Now you have got the carved off, means cut off. Cut off. My friend carved off a large piece of cake and gave me because I was suffering from diabetes. So that has an unwanted pressure for him to see me eating and then becoming worse. That is an unwanted pressure. <laughs> yes. I am going home in a dreary province. And jollies. And jollies means a kind of card, card game like 2856 or Rami and so on. That's a card game. I think all the words are not clear to you. Now the highlights in this section you have how the rat trap seller kept his body and soul together. Body means how he lived. His meditations. That's a very philosophical meditation that you will see. His thinking ill of the world. He thinks that uh, he is in misery. So he wants, he, like, he likes to think of the misery of other people. And that was an unwanted pressure for him. Given shelter to him by an old man. End of this section, you will find that he was given shelter uh, for a night by an old man who had no, chil no children and no wife. He was living all alone. His loneliness, he got a partner and so he welcomed him. So these are the highlights. Questions we will answer at the end. So this is the way that you are following the communicative method of teaching, but this strictly this is not communicative method because in communicative method we don't read the text, the teacher doesn't read the text, the student should read the text and find out the answer. But this is virtual classroom and no students here. See, students are uh, uh, spread in different parts of the world, far and near like that. So I will read it just for the sake of your say, to things may Make things easy for you. Okay? You don't mind, I suppose. Alright, so let's begin. Hmm? Uh, once upon a time, there was a man who went around selling small rat traps of fire. Rat traps means, uh, you know, a uh, trap for catching rats. And this was, he was the uh, marketing manager of that. That selling, rat trap selling <laughs> in the marketing. Somewhere. Sales representative, marketing manager, everything, two in one now. He made them himself also. He is the producer also. Producer, salesman, marketing manager, MD, everything. And at odd moments, means when he was free, he got free time. From the material he got by begging in the stores uh, or at the big farms. So he used to go around begging. So again, he is two in one. He is a, he's a beggar as well as a, as well as a, a producer of or a maker of rat traps. Now you will see that he is a three in one. In the next sentence you will find that. But even so, the business was not especially profitable. So he had to resort to tend to or take the help of both begging and petty thievery. So producer of rat trap, marketing, salesman of rat trap, and now a thief also. <laughs> it's a romantic theory to keep body and soul together. So this is how he kept his body and, and soul together. Otherwise what will happen? The body will be somewhere else decaying and the soul will go somewhere else. We don't know where the soul is going. Even so his clothes were in rags, old and torn. His cheeks were sangam. Sangam means like this. And, and hunger gleamed in his eyes. Poor man. He was a very hungry person. He never had a full meal. No one can imagine 
how sad and monotonous life can appear to such a vagabond who plods along the road left to his own meditation. So he is nobody to talk to him, he is alone, his own thinking. Left to his meditation means he is he thinks only about uh, the rat trap, mm, how to sell them. Uh, where, where can he find a place to exercise his romantic art that is uh, thieving? Eh? These are the things that he was thinking. But one day, this man had fallen into a line of thought which really seemed to him entertaining. So there is a new idea. An idea can change the world. So thus you have done. Very, very interesting thought came to his mind. mind, came to his mind. He, had, he had naturally been thinking of his rat trap when suddenly he was struck by the idea. Yes. An idea came uh, suddenly entered in his mind, struck by like a, the lightning. So struck by the idea that the whole world, the whole world with its lands and seas, its cities and villages was nothing but a big rat trap. <laughs> That's a good idea. Because in rat trap, what do you do? You bait, you keep bait. That is to attract the rat. And once the rat is attracted to the bait and touches, it will fall. Uh, it will be caught and it will die. Exactly like that, he says, all the all the things in this world, villages, cities, then you are a cinema, you are a brushes, you are a gold, you are money, you are uh, love affairs, your uh, drinking habits, your smoking, all these things, they are beats. And once you touch it, you are finished. You know, we know the story of Macbeth, you know, Macbeth, he was a very, very great and a very, action, so you can say he was an action man, he was uh, very much loved and he was um, lauded, lauded means praised. L-A-U-D-E-D, -E Lord, Lord of the praised, praised by his king Dangan. But what happened when this, when the greed of power caught him, that they had the bait for him. He wanted to become king, so he killed his, his, his innocent king and became a king. But what of that, finally he meets with a terrible tragedy. So that is a bait actually. So all these things, greed for power, greed for money, Greed for love, greed for sex, greed for eating and drinking, greed for land, greed for riches. We are all surrounded, uh, we are all encircled by that, so to say, we can say, as we can see further. It had, it had never existed for any other purpose than to set, uh, to set baits for people. So all these things that we see, baits for people. See the story of the prodigal son, that is another thing. So he wanted to enjoy with his friends, so he uh, asked the patrimony from his father, demanded, by force he managed to get it, went away, all those things that you know, all the story. So there also, he touched the bait and he perished. Same thing he is thinking. He is thinking. He offered riches and joys, uh, shelter and food, heat and clothing, exactly as a rat trap, rat trap offered cheese and pork. And as soon as anyone, anyone let himself be tempted to touch the bait, it closed in on him, and then everything came to an end. I give you the example of Michael, an example of prodigal son. What about the Kauravas in front of us? Same thing, you know. The bait, and, and at last what happened, as is known to you, and you know, tell you. So everything is, so to say, you can say everything in that way. When you look at from the eye angle uh, from which this rat, trap seller, or maker, or the thief, the romantic things, so to say, he looks at everything is a bait, no doubt about it. I know in the places you know, where you are employed. Oh, what a kind of uh, suffering certain people are undergoing because of this bait. They want to become, uh, they want to get higher positions, they want to become uh, principals, they want to become heads of the departments and so on. Therefore, what do they, what do, they do? They, so they manage to, they, with the, all their power and their, their cunning and also, and all, all, all the, 
all the criminal things that they can exercise, they inflict what, uh, they, they inflict unpardonable sufferings on, the, on their victims. So again that bait, you know, this bait, actually, although he is a three in one, that is marketing manager, then your producer and a thief, but his philosophy is really, he has got some sense in it. His philosophy, his philosophy is, I think that, just by, it is greater than that of Aristotle. Aristotle only explained things, but here he is not like that, he is saying why. He tells why. Why are people coming to such a tragic end? That's because they are touching this uh, bait. Once you touch this bait, you, you start to you develop greed and think, and then you come to an end. As, as I told you of this. Examples of Kauravas and examples of uh, the prodigal son and Macbeth and all those people. Understand? Yes. And now you see, come on, and I became the cherished pastime. So it became a cherished pastime. That is, he liked it very much to think like this. Of his during many dreary plodings, very sad and walking alone, to think of people who who he knew who had let themselves be caught in the dangerous name. This dangerous name means he was thinking of the people, na, 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 giving numbers. Oh, one I know that fellow, because of this, he perished. Another, ah, he, because of, he was, he has a greed for money, he perished. Another person, he had greed for power, he perished. So he was thinking, making a list of all these people and enjoying the misery suffered by those people. <laughs> Understand? Why? Because his life is a miserable life. When you find that your life is very miserable, then you are attracted to all the other miserable people. <laughs> the miseries of other people. This is quite natural. So same with the, this, our rat trap seller and the maker of rat trap and this little thief. And then, cotton danger and, uh, and of others who were still circling around the bait. Somehow already perished. Now there are many others in the pipeline ready, the waiting list, so that they also catch this bait or touch this bait and perish. So he was having an internal joy. <laughs> he was thinking, ah, he will also will meet the same fate. I am miserable, so he will also be miserable. He thought like that. One dark evening, uh, one dark evening, he was trudging along the road. Uh, trudging is walking heavily, uh, with a heavy step, like the army marching along the, or through the marshy land, I don't you know. He caught sight of a, he saw, caught the cat sight of means he saw uh, a little grey village of a cottage by the roadside and he knocked on the door to ask shelter for the night. So he was thinking like this, it's a philosophy, it's a philosophy of life. And they were trudging. And then what happened? He saw and knocked. Never was he refused. It means he was admitted. Instead of the sour faces, which ordinarily met him. Means when normally uh, in a, other times, you know, at other times when he goes in shelter, in, in search of shelter or begging for shelter, they will come out and look at him, frown at him. Uh, no, no place here. So that is sour face. A face which uh, shows the dislike. The owner who was an old man with a wife and ch child was happy to get someone to talk to in his loneliness. He is an old, another old man. Very interesting person. No family, no wife, no children. Lonely. Immediately he put the porridge pot on the fire and gave him supper. He did not say anything. Come in, come in, sit down, please sit down. And then he went to uh, took the porridge pot and put it on the fire and made a porridge and gave him supper. Maybe what's something or some such thing. <laughs> Then he carved off such a big slice from his tobacco roll that it was enough for the strangest pipe and his own. So after this, he went and cut a piece of tobacco and 50% he gave to the stranger and the remaining he himself put in his pipe and both were smoking. Ah, what a nice situation, isn't it? Friendly. Friendly. Smoking is injurious to health. 
but in this case it's friendly. Finally, he got out an old pack of cards and played and joyce with his guests until bedtime. Until bedtime. Oh, what a hospitality, isn't it? He, uh, he let him in. He was very happy. He had a face, a shining face, bright face. The host, the guest also, gave given uh, porridge, uh, that is supper, then tobacco for smoking, now playing cards. What a beautiful narration, isn't it? You cannot stop reading this once you begin this. So I advise you, my dear friends, I request you, before you come for the next class, you read the whole story, twice or thrice, the enjoy it, the afterwards you will learn it. Okay, sinners by sinners, word by word, etc. But before then you read and enjoy it. I am sure that if you start reading now, you will not stop. You will close the book only after you have finished it. Such a beautiful narration. Such a flow of events. Understand? Uh, it has something to do with Christmas also. Because there you will find. There is a famous Christmas story, you know, Oh Henry's, The Gift of the Magi. That is also like this. Once you start reading, you will not put down your book. Because until, until the last sentence. And then when the last sentence is written, you will say, ha! Like that. <laughs> Understand that? Like, exactly like that, this story also. So, so beautifully narrated. Okay, so let's question, let's ask questions. What was the old man doing for keeping his body and soul? The old man was three months. He was making rat traps, selling rat traps, and also little thievery. <laughs> it means stealing, a romantic thief, you can say. Not a, uh, not a duckweed or not a robber. Keeping his body and soul. Then second question, what line of thought seemed to him entertaining? What uh, this line of thought, that means the whole world is a rat trap and all the things in this world, they are baits, just as a poor piece of pork and a piece of cheese, bait for uh, rats, uh, villages, cities, money, gold, uh, then um, love affairs, or brackets, you can say sex and uh, pleasures, that is your uh, uh, drinking, eating, then amassing wealth, land, power, greed for power, greed for promotion, then doing illegal activities for all these baits. And further he thought, all those who have become a victim of this, they have perished. Many are waiting to be perished. He thought like this. This was an entertaining thought for him. And then uh, why was he uh, thinking ill of the world? He was thinking ill of the world because the world was unfriendly to him. <laughs> the world around him is unfriendly to him. So he was thinking ill of the world. To equalize that situation. Huh? To normalize again. Then what was the content of his his uh, what was ah, his meditations? What was the content of his meditation? We have already seen. Line of his meditation was like this: uh, this uh, this land, this world, this uh, cities, this, uh, cities, and then villages. All the things in the world, they are baits. Just as uh, the cheese and pork baits for rats. Once you touch it. You will perish, just like the rat touching the touching the piece of pork or cheese. And then there is said many have already perished, many are now waiting. That is the waiting list. How was the rat trap seller entertained the old man? Uh, how was the rat trap seller entertained by the old man without buying finding the child? By the old man, sorry. If the buy is not missing. So that we have seen, uh, he was admitted with a bright face, friendly face. He was given supper, uh, porridge. He was given 
a piece of tobacco for smoking, then uh, the old man on the roadside cottage entertained him with a uh, game of cards. I hope this is very clear to you, no problem. So we'll continue, but before you come, to the next, come for the next class, I humbly request you to read the whole story so we enjoy and come. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Enjoy your life.